Uh, hello, I am Tony from KAIS, and today I will be presenting my paper link, uh, Link Black Box Detection of Cross Site Scripting Vulnerabilities Use Your Reinforcement Learning, which is a joint work with Tony Lee and my advisors. Welcome. In this work, we targeted reflective cross site scripting, and let me explain a bit of background information. Uh, in this scenario, the attacker exploits the uh, cross site scripting vulnerability to conduct JavaScript code injection. Assume that there is one vulnerable website and the attacker tricks a victim to click a malicious URL. Now, send $1 million function is reflected in the response for this request. The attacker is able to execute this injection code on behalf of the victim and cast the profit. As this graph shows, cross-site scripting is still one of the prevalent vulnerabilities today. To detect these vulnerabilities, their several penetration testing tools can be easily deployed. And these tools are easy for users since they require little user input. For this reason, the number of users is growing as the market for the penetration testing is also increasing. Then what is the penetration testing? So it simulates an attacker who tries a known attack payload to exploit vulnerabilities. Specifically, penetration testing attempts to input known attack payload by sending them to a vulnerable application. It then checks whether any of the attempted payloads triggers a vulnerability. We call this process a dictionary attack because it uses known payload. Here is another example to illustrate dictionary attack. So assuming we want to detect a vulnerability in this target application with incorrect filter logic, which is removing HTML tag name. So we can inject payload in the Go parameter. And to detect this, a penetration testing tool should have a working payload in its dictionary. And this tool tries all payloads in this dictionary one by one and checks whether one of them triggers a vulnerability. And although this method is straightforward, it has several disadvantages. The first, if the dictionary does not contain a working payload, it will produce false negatives. Furthermore, if the exploit payload is placed at the last position in the big dictionary, it will send a lot of unnecessary requests and enlarging the overhead of penetration testing. The problem is that many penetration tool uses a dictionary of predefined payloads, and they do not consider a target context in which to inject a payload. That is, the dictionary attack uses context on the where payload. Then what is our objective to address this, this shortcoming? So we want to conduct context-aware payload generation. So assume that we want to detect the vulnerability from the previous example. To trigger the vulnerability, we try this payload, then we can observe that the script is removed at the response. Therefore, we can insert the script string into the first payload, like this. And finally, the attack is successful, it's the payload. Then how can we do this? So first, we can think about defining heuristics. From the previous example, we can construct a rule that if the script is removed, then insert script string to the payload. However, this is only one rule and we must match a lot of feedback with a lot of corresponding actions. It is too much enduring effort to do everything manually. To address this problem, we propose Link. Link leverages reinforcement learning to generate context-aware payloads. Link uses generation and mutation rules for generating cross-site scripting attack payload. After trying each generating payload, Link leverages feedback from a target application that's generating context-aware payloads automatically. 
So in the reinforcement learning, we need the agent and environment. The role of the agent is to choose an action based on the state from the given environment. Then the choose an action is going to change the environment as well as the state that reflects this environment. Then the environment evaluates whether the choose an action is effective by computing reward. After it returns the reward and state information to the agent, the agent chooses the next action depending on the reward and state. By iterating these steps, the agent learns the optimal policy to maximize the total reward. We can apply this iteration process to detecting cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. The action corresponds to a generation or mutation rule for generating a payload. The environment corresponds to a target application and the reward and state correspond to a feedback from the target application. To apply the reinforcement learning, we need to handle the following technical challenges. The first, the reinforcement learning agent must be transferable. Most reinforcement learning based approaches use the same training and testing environment. For example, if we train an agent, play a game, the test will be performed in the same game. However, vulnerability detection should be applied not only to the applications under training, but also the other applications. To handle this challenge, we have compiled the training applications in which, ver which various types of reflective cross-site scripting. In particular, we collected applications used to evaluate web scanners, since the vulnerabilities in these applications cover common types of cross-site scripting bugs. And we believe that trained agent will be generally applied to cross-site scripting detection. We also implemented uh, applications from filter bypassing technique. Especially these filter region applications contain incorrect input filters, which can be bypassed with complicated evasion techniques. And these samples help link detect special vulnerabilities that do not exist in typical web scanner benchmark. Second, reinforcement learning is known to be challenging due to non-convergence problem. And as, as I said before, the agent will learn a policy to maximize the total reward. And for good convergence, it is important to, to design the action, the state, and the reward function well. And therefore, a technical challenge here is to properly model this component. And to solve this problem, we empirically explore the optimal design points. So we try many settings of action, state, and reward function. We found our best result to achieve the stable conversion. So now I will explain our optimal design points. The first design component is action. The links, of course, two action types, generation and mutation. And we have seven generation rule that generates the basic payload for further mutation. And we also have 32 mutation rules that mutate the basic payloads from the generation. Let's assume that we want to detect the vulnerability from the previous example. And we need the first payload to, to detect this. To this end, Link takes one of the generation actions so that it can generate payload with script tag. In this case, the script tag is deleted by the filter. From this information, Link knows that the payload needs to be changed. So Link can take one of the mutation actions, overlap the text string, which is one of the evasion techniques. Then the mutated payload looks like this, and now, Link gets other feedback that script is not executed because the payload is placed in the text area tag. Finally, Link will choose the prepending HTML tag mutation action, which is one of the context escaping technique. Then the mutated payload will escape the text area tag and triggering the vulnerability. The next design component is a state, which provides the information of the environment to the agent. It contains 47 features, and each feature is a scholar value 
that represents the respective feature's existence or its type. And the features can be divided into three types, information about the info payload and the injection point and about the uptake result. The first type of the state is the payload information. And these features tell the information about the appearance of the payload. For example, whether to use the script tags or whether to use alert functions can be included in this type. A second type of the state is the injection point information. The injection point represents whether the attack payload is placed in the response. For example, one feature indicates which character is placed before the injection point. And another feature indicates where the attack payload is injected. The last type of state is information about the attack result. From the attack response, Link analyzes how the injected payload is reflected. So for example, Link observes that script tag is not reflected, but the string of alert is reflected. Also, it checks the attempted payload is triggering the vulnerability. And the last component of the reinforcement learning is reverse function. The main goal of Link is to detect vulnerabilities in the shortest time. So we give a positive reward when attack succeeds and give bigger reward as the number of attempted requests is small. Also, Link gives the negative reward if the agent chooses the same actions or tries the same payload because it is, it is inefficient to try a failed attempt again. So now let me explain some details of the training overview. So first, the agent selects an action, then the environment performs the selected action, so generating or mutating the payload, and sends the payload to the application. After the bug oracle analyzes the response and returns the state and it returns the river. And by iterating these steps, agent learns which payload is efficient to detect a vulnerability. And with the guardians of the trained agent, the testing phase conducts the penetration testing against target application without consideration of the reward computation. So we implemented this is design settings and conducted the experiment. For the training, we, we prepare a three scanner evaluation application, firing range WABSP and filter evasion application. And we trained our agents with advanced sector critic algorithm. And for the evaluation, we compare a link to three open source tools and one commercial. And note that our main goal is to detect vulnerabilities in the shortest time. So we compare two metrics, the number of found bugs and number of attempts. And first, we compare link against four state-of-art penetration testing tools. We ran those tools on the four applications with 376 vulnerabilities. And you can see here, link reaches highest number of founded bugs. And also, link needs lower request than other tools, which has similar results to link. And we note that the link's performance stands out to compare to the other scanners regarding filter evasion application. So this stems from the effectiveness of agent, which analyzes the feedback and suggests optimal actions to bypass incorrect filter logic. And also we note that the WASP benchmark was not included in the training set. However, Link still reaches highest number of vulnerability detection. And it shows that Link successfully generates the training agents to operate automatically in other applications. And in addition, we evaluate the efficiency of Link in terms of finding non real world bugs. And especially, we ran the tools on 12 real world applications with 49 vulnerabilities. And as a result, we observed that Link found 43 real world vulnerabilities. And you can see here, Link requires rela relatively lower requests than other tools, which has similar true positives. And it shows that the Link can provide reasonable testing for real world applications. 
just wanted yeah. to uh, sorry just sorry to interrupt you just wanted to let you know there is only one minute left for the uh, oh, like yeah. the 15 okay. minutes have passed and now we are in the q and a time so if you can wrap up in a minute that would be great okay so uh addition to this we conduct we conducted the experiment targeting recent versions of applications which used in previous experiment and also we targeted the recently reported vulnerable application and as a result, we observed that Link found three new vulnerabilities in GigLog and one from the PSCM. And in conclusion, we proposed first fully automated black box reflective cross-site scripting scanner with reinforcement learning. And in addition to this, Link shows its efficiency in decreasing the request overhead. And also Link can find 43 vulnerabilities with no false positives from 12 real-world applications. And to support future research, we make our code public at this address. And this is the end of my presentation, and thank you for your attention.